Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Clean My Mac X is a fantastic utility for ensuring that your Mac is always kept in tip top condition. We've previously covered the overall functionality of Clean My Mac X in several episodes, but in this tip video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new module and that's Space Lens. So I've launched Clean My Mac X and by default it takes us to the Smart Scan screen. This allows us to uh, scan our system junk, our photo junk, mail attachments, etc. and do a thorough scan of your Mac to clear out any rubbish. Now you can also go ahead and clear out large and old files. There's a module in the side for that and that will just expose any large or old files that are on your system for you to delete manually. Now this new option is the Space Lens and this is a way of visualising exactly what's on your machine. So if I go across to Space Lens, it's defaulted to my system drive. I've got uh, a 300 gig system drive and as you can see it's 248 gigs have been used. So it's probably due for a bit of a clear out anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on Scan. And then it will go ahead and build my storage map. Now it uses a very unique way of visualizing your data. It creates this lens um, that you can look at. You do also get a list of the various folders and files, etc. But we'll just let that run through. And when it's completed, we'll come back and have a look at the user interface. Now that really didn't take too long. Um, but now we have, well, two uh, representations of our user data. Uh, on the left hand side, we have this ordered list. So it's ordered by size. So an applications folder, private folder, user folder, system folder, etc. And over here on the right hand side, we have our lens view. And as I hover over each of these different lenses, uh, you can see that the relevant entry is highlighted in the left hand side. So you can navigate either using this list or you can navigate using the lens view here on the right hand side. Now I can see that the applications folder is a system folder and it's the biggest folder uh, on my drive. Uh, just to point out, because this is a system folder, you can't delete, you can't select these for deletion at the top level. So applications, private, users, you can't delete these. When you do see something you can delete, uh, you can get this option here. So a .ds underscore store file I could delete. I'm going to leave that for now. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.